Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today's tutorial I'm doing for itchyphoto.com and this tutorial is going to show you how to extract and how to enhance uh, any of your images by using this technique. So what I'm going to do is uh, to start we're going to duplicate the, the image itself by going to layer, duplicate image, click OK. You don't have to name it, you can if you want but I'm not for this tutorial and the next step on that we're going to invert it and make it into look like a black and white negative by pressing and holding down the curl button on the left hand side of your keyboard and pressing the letter I and as you can see it's inverted it now to look like a negative itself what we need to do now is to get the best out of this image is we need to go to the uh, blending mode on the right hand side it's already set to normal but we're going to change that by clicking on it a box will open up and we're going to click on and select vivid light once you've selected vivid light a grey cast will come over the image itself and what we're going to do now is we're going to change that yet again by going through to the filter and blur and selecting right at the bottom surface blur. Once you selected surface blur have a play around with the radius and the threshold. I selected on this 35 pixels and 25 pixels as it suits this image but that's not set in stone as you can play around with whatever suits your image itself. Once you've selected the pixel radius that you want click OK and once that's done then we need to do the trickiest bit of all which is quite stumbly if you've got stumpy fingers like me by going to the left hand side of your keyboard and pressing down the shift the curl and the halt keys all at the same time and pressing the letter E we are selecting on the right hand side a new layer now the background layer what we first did we can get rid of that now by selecting that and putting that in the bin but most importantly make sure once you've put that in the bin that you're selecting the layer that we're going to work on not the background um, it's very important as it won't the effect won't work unless you're picking on that layer itself once we've done that we're going to go back up to filter down to blur again and this time our old favourite Gaussian blur and for this I've already picked 3.5 yet again you can play with that radius yourself click OK and finally go back down to the um, blending mode where it's got normal and this time we're going to go to soft light once you've selected that the image will come up to how it's going to be and as you can see from the original how smooth that is and how soft that is on the lion's face itself and what we've done is we've enhanced all of these features on his face by doing this technique so I'll just show you the end result and as you can see in the lion's mane the detail of the fur the eyes have lit up from the left hand side the darkness has come out everything's been enhanced from the original to the end product original end product and all we've done by is using them few simple steps to enhance the picture itself to finalize it go to layer flatten image and that's it so I hope that you've uh, enjoyed that tutorial I hope it's going to help you out with some of the images that you've got and I look forward to seeing some of your images displayed on itchyphoto.com. Please come and have a look at the site. It's absolutely free. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.